So the spot that we've come to for the nightlife is called Cabo Quicho. It's supposed to be one of the most popular areas for like bars, things like that. And yeah, it's almost pitch black now, so things are looking real cool. I'm gonna check out some bar streets. I think there's also some shopping areas that look nice too. Is this the right way, Carol? I don't know. <laughs> Need to check the map. Yeah. Wow, look at all the lights back there. Which place are we going first? Maybe that Omoi de Yokocho. So if you watched our first video from Tokyo and Japan, this is where we wanted to come, but it started raining. So we didn't make it here. And once again, another jam-packed place in Tokyo, everywhere. I think this one's even more. Yeah, so this is Omoide Yokocho, one of the cool bar streets. Yeah, this is awesome. Look at this. That's why I wanted to come here. Even better that way. They're all so tiny. Yeah, it's like for like two or three people inside of them. Yeah, some of them. Crammed together. So there's actually another one that I think is like this, but bigger. So I think we're gonna go to that one to eat afterwards. We're not quite hungry yet anyway. You ever seen bars like this before? No. <laughs> yeah, very different. Like six, seven seater bars, all of them. Yeah, but you've probably seen from these videos just how many interesting places Tokyo has. Basically all the neighborhoods that you go to. All very different too. The nickname of that place is Piss Alley, I guess because it's a big drinking place. We've come outside the alleyway now, but it still kind of looks the same. A lot bigger though, more space than these ones. And so, so many food options are non-stop. Man, so this is easily one of the coolest places that we've ever walked at night in a city. Just look at this. So colorful, all lit up. It's kind of funny because it's just advertisements, right? And billboards. Certainly cooler than advertisements and billboards in the West. Yeah, yeah. I think when people think of Japan, this is one of the most uh, iconic Im images that people have. That's what I had in my mind before coming here. Even the van. <laughs> it's really, really impressive. Yeah, I love it. That looks like some sort of video game over there. I used to play a lot of Japanese video games, Nintendo, Sega, Tekken. Looks like Tekken. So I mentioned that this place is known for its nightlife. Apparently it's like a big red light district too, like adult entertainment. Good place to bring my parents. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we see like a girly bar and I think that's the kind of thing that you're talking about. Gentleman's club. Yeah. Wow though. I'm in love with this place. Yeah, that's definitely some red light kind of stuff. So the only other time that we went to a place that kind of looked like this was in Taipei, Taiwan. But in Tokyo it's just so much bigger. Plus there's many different neighborhoods that are kind of like this. Although this is probably the most impressive one we've seen so far for the, for the lights.
So I'm guessing that during the day, cars come through here, and then maybe at night, it's just a walking street. It is a weekend though, so I don't know if they, they only open it on the weekend, Friday night, I'm not sure. It's a Saturday today. Oh my God, <laughs> it's even more. Let there be light. Ever been anywhere like this before? No, pretty mad, isn't it? I don't even think Vegas was like this, was it? No, it's a different atmosphere, different vibe. More real here, isn't yeah. it? More real. Yeah, Vegas for some reason seems kind of fake whenever we go there. They do have the lights and stuff there, but nothing like this. For some reason there's a crowd of people here. I don't know what's going on. They all seem to be staring at the restaurant. Doing a show or something. What is it? A food dance? Yeah, noodle dance. I don't know. So I think we're gonna go to the other bar area now. We're kind of hungry and we might have to queue up for a while. I'm guessing we're gonna have to with the amount of people that are around here. Very close though. So all these places are just walking distance from each other. Oh, smoke coming out of there. Or is it from this building? Wow, look at it. The robot show. Wonder what that is. <laughs> Look at this bar too. <laughs> like a cave. The entrance, yeah. Yeah, these alleyways look a bit more shady. Tokyo at night is definitely wild. <laughs> I haven't seen that many casinos though. I don't know if they have casinos around here. Kind of looks like the kind of area that would have casinos. Not sure if that's even legal in Japan. This one's way more laid back, isn't it? Yeah. It's better, isn't it? If you want to eat. Probably it'd be easier to get a place. So this one is called Golden Guy. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's empty. Maybe it's more at night. I thought it was going to be the same as the first street that we went down. <laughs> Anya, doesn't she like, does she go on the Yeah, so we just need to find a place that has space for four people. Some of them really do only fit in three or four and then it's packed. <laughs> okay. So that didn't go to plan. The majority of the places were just bars and we're looking for food and the ones that had food were all busy. We did find one that was empty, but then she said, oh, if another group comes, uh, can we give them your seats? So I wasn't gonna eat there and then leave while I'm eating. So yeah, that wasn't an option. It was a really cool place though, but I'm guessing since it was a bar area, that's why it's not busy. It's still kind of early. I think it's around 7 p.m. So we'll find food somewhere else. I mean, there's loads of food options here. I just wanted to eat one of those cool little ones, that's all. So luckily we didn't have to walk too far to find a cool little place. I didn't mention in the other videos, but you definitely need Google Translate in Japan. And then you can just like take a picture and it will translate everything. I've been using this all the time. Yes, yeah, this one. Yes. <coughs> and two hot and sour soup. Cool. Hot and sour soup. Uh, we show you. What's up? They told so it turns out that this place is mainly Chinese food. They still have some Japanese food though, but I think my dish that's coming is Chinese. But me and my dad got Sapporo beer, 
That's Japanese beer. Really good beer. Probably get another one after this. Got some edamame here. And manga gyozas. What is that? Coconut drink. Oh yeah? Coconut drink. Feels like the coconut milk instead of the coconut water. And the gyozas got the menus on the wall. 4.50. So, pretty nice price, and I'll show you the other food soon. They have some interesting things here. I don't know if that's ginseng, some sort of berries. Is that that goji berry thing, maybe? Some sort of healthy drink, I guess. So I went for this noodle soup with pork ribs. Not exactly sure how much it is, I forgot to check. I think it's around 800, 900. Carol's is fish. Yeah, fish and sweet and sour sauce. Also looks nice. And what's yours, Dad? Spicy chicken. Is it spicy? No, it's just nice. Nice amount. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's Carol's there. 900. I think overall we've been surprised by the price of food in oh, Japan. Definitely. A lot cheaper than we expect. Yeah. I thought it was going to be super expensive. People always talk about Japan being crazy expensive. Yeah, only the accommodations have been very expensive, but the food, no, not at all. And the accommodation is more because we're in cherry blossom season. Yeah, so I'm not really seeing Japan as super expensive. A lot of the places that we go, the attractions are free. So my food is seriously good. It might actually be the best dish that I've had in Japan so far. Mm. Extremely tasty of the meat. What did you end up getting? Fried pork with rice. And it's nice, it's good. Is that onion? Yeah. Oh, loads of onions. Loads of it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. So we're heading back to Golden Guy now because we want to get some more drinks. We wanted to go to some of those bars too. I think it should be easier to get a seat now. I hope so. Only for drinks. Yeah, and from what I read, uh, those types of bars that are very famous here in, around this area are called izakaya. Izakaya? Yeah. The little alleyway ones. Yeah, I think it's just like the bars where people go to socialize and they're tiny. I think that's what it is. <laughs> izakaya. Look at that nice little walkway out in the middle of the city. Like a nature walkway. All right, mission to find a cool bar. I think some of them are already busy. Yeah, no room for four in there. Oh, this one looks nice. Yeah, also full though. It's a bit more movement now. Yeah, because it's getting late. Yeah, I think, I think later on at like 11, 12, probably be even busier. I think right now it's still 8.30. Snake Saki. Snake Saki. Second floor, that one. Uh, the, the bars look really cool. Look at this one. Yeah, look at this one, man. Yeah, these two guys were in the restaurant with us just now. Oh, yeah, Same guys. Same plan that we had. Round two, alcohol. Yeah, literally everywhere is jam packed, even the bars. I wonder if people make reservations. Oh, this one's kind of empty. You want to go here? It's empty, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, is yeah. there a reason? <laughs> a dodgy bar. There's no beer. It's all whiskeys and things like that. Another one? Yeah. What beer is there? Yeah, you want to go in here? Four? Four. Four. These? Okay. 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 Yeah. I'll have the plum wine. Plum wine. Yeah. With, it's like, a better yeah. drink with, like, on the rock, with, with, with soda, with water. Uh, can be on the rock. Yeah. yeah. These other ones, uh, what? This one is from uh, rice. This one? Yeah. This one is made of sweet potatoes. <laughs> the rice one? Rice one. Uh, rice one. So all our drinks were 900 each. Dad just went for the Sapporo again. Looks like seven up. It's like a rice something. Rice? Have you tried it? Yeah. It's kind of, it smells flowery, but it's nice. Yeah, I could have done mine with soda as well. 
What did you get with yours? It's the Shoshu. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but it's the Japanese uh, famous hard liquor. And mine is uh, the base of it is uh, sweet potato. Sweet potato? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, but also with soda. And it's not that strong really because of the soda, like just uh, you know, like your mom said. Really good, I like it. Now I've had uh, plum wine before. No. If he's decent, he will still be fine. I think he is. I think yeah, I really like it. Really nice and sweet. It's not as good. It's not good. But it's really too sweet. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah. 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 Yeah